So for our next problem, let's do problem 46 pretty quick. We're going to have the integral between 0 and 1 and integral between 2x and 4x. And I have e to the power of x plus y dy dx. Then we can see that uh, to change the order for this integral, what I need to do, I need to first sketch my region. And the region in this case, I will have that x is between 0 and 1. So uh, I'm going to indicate this by saying that x is bigger or equal than 0 and x is less or equal than 1. So I have these two points. But what about like our y bounds? So our y bounds are going to be given uh, as functions. So I will have that y is equal to 2x and y is equal to 4x. So right now, uh, since those two functions are lines and to know uh, how to sketch the equation as a line, you just need to know two points. And since if you're going to plug in x is equal to 0, then both of those functions, uh, you will have y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. So that's I know that for sure I'm going to uh, go through the origin for both lines. But to find uh, where is your line is going to intersect our blue line when x is equal to 1, I just need to plug in that inside my function. So I'll have for the first line, I will have a y is equal to 2. And for the second line, I'm going to have y is equal to 4. So that's why I'm going to have y is equal to 2x as this graph and y is equal to 4 as, as that graph. Oh, in other words, my region is going to be uh, that blue uh, I don't know, like triangle. Okay, so let's right now set up the second, uh, the different order. So I'm going to have the integral of e to the x plus y uh, dx dy. So uh, first let's find the outside uh, bounds for our y. And here we can see outside bounds for my y. If x is equal to 0, I will have 0. And what is my like highest point along, uh, largest point along y-axis? It's going to be when y is equal to 4. So that's why my outside bounds are going to be exactly when y changes between 0 and 4. Okay, what about the inside bounds? So for the in inside bounds, you can see that I'm going to uh, move along x-axis. So that's why I'm going to shoot my arrow along x-axis. And you can see right now, my region is going to give us uh, the following pattern. Uh, the inside bound, so the first bound that my line is going to meet, can be described uniformly by using the same equation. But our like outside boundary is going to be described using two equations. So that's why I know that, again, like I need to split my integral as a sum of two integrals. So that's why I'm going to have uh, this integral plus the double integral of the same function of ax plus uh, y uh, d, dx dy. And what I need to do right now, I need to change my y bounds. So first, uh, I need to figure out for which y I'm going to have uh, that my outside region is going to be described by this line over here. And we exactly know that because we know when y, when x is equal to 1, what I'm going to get, I'm going to get y is equal to 2 because, again, like I want to know the y intersection of that point. And this is exactly 2. So that's why my first integral is going to go between 0 and 2, and my second integral goes between 2 and 4. And then you can see, if I'm going right now to set up this integral over here, then my outside boundary is going to be this line. And I need to write down the equation of that line as x in terms of y. But I know that the equation of this line is y is equal to 2x. So that's why from here follows that x is going to be equal to y over 2. So that's why the, low, the upper bound here is going to be y over 2. But what about lower, lower bound? Lower bound is going to be given by that uh, graph. And that graph I also need to write as x in terms of y. So I'm going to have in the case that x is equal to y over 4. So my lower bound here is going to be y over 4. And since the lower bound for the sake for the second integral is the same, I'm going to have y over 4. But what is going to be the upper bound? Upper bound is going to be just at constant. And that constant is exactly when x is equal to 1. So I have 1 here. Okay. And basically that's it. And right now we have uh, the setup when we're going to change the order for integral from the problem 46. And let's do the last problem, problem uh, 53 when I would need to, uh, to set up my double integral by just having uh, r as like uh, using like we, when we describe r using uh, two graphs. So in that case, we can see that I have uh, my r is described by y is equal to x squared and y is equal to 2x. And I want to set up the bounds for my integral of x cubed y and 
I already have the order dy dx. So in this case, let's just sketch. Oh, I have here like uh, y is equal to two x. So again, like to set up the uh, to set up the double integral, we need to know we need, uh, what is our region, or in other words, we need to visualize it, or yeah, like in other words, we need to graph it. So what I'm going to have, I'm going to have y is equal to x squared. So I'm going to just take uh, regular points for parabola, like zero zero one one, and let's say like two and four. So I have my point zero zero one one negative one one then 2 and 4 and I'm going to have this parabola over here and it's my y is equal to x squared okay and what about my line the second line is y is equal to 2x so when x is equal to 0 I will have 0 when x is equal to 1 I will have 2 and when x is equal to uh, 2 I'm going to have 4 so that line is going to be that uh, graph is going to be given by that green line and you can see right now if you will take the region between those uh, two graphs, then you exactly is going to get this part between a line and a parabola. And this is your R. And let's right now describe, uh, not describe, let's right now like set up our bounds if we have that region R. So first I have dx. And you can see in this case, my x changes between what uh, values? It changes between 0 and 2. So that's why my outside bounds are going to be x between 0 and 2. And what about our inside bounds? For an inside bounds, remember, I need to shoot an arrow in towards like y, positive y direction. And then my lower bound is going to be given uh, by the equation that describes the uh, that parabola. And since I have my outside variable x, then I need to write my bounds uh, in, ter in terms of x. So that's why my lower bound is exactly going to be just y is equal to x squared. Okay, but what about my um, top uh, bound? In that case, my boundary of my region is described by equation y is equal to 2x. So that's why I'm going to just say that uh, my uh, top bound is going to be 2x. And and that's it. And this is going to be a setup for our integral, and you can just... Uh, uh, try to relate to this integral and check your answer. Is this problem which problem? Is problem 53 from the book? Yeah, so you can just check uh, the answer for the problem in the end of the book.